Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to demonstrate an app called Super Display for your Android uh, tablet that turns it into uh, if, if your Android tablet with the pen uh, support that it turns it into a sort of a mini Cintiq for your laptop or desktop. Uh, so, uh, if you can see that, there's my laptop going there. Uh, so the app is called Super Display see there you go if you can see that at the end oops stop that uh, super display um, and the app itself is much like uh, on uh, Apple uh, Astropad or Sidecar in that it uh, via USB or Wi-Fi turns the uh, the tablet into second monitor uh, or mirror monitor in this case. Um, there might be a second display function on the full paid app, but uh, I'm just using the trial version, so I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, I'm going to use a USB 3 cable here from my laptop to um, try this out here. There's a USB 3 there. Um, now, the laptop I'm using is a Lenovo Flex 5. Uh, which is it, it's got a pen uh, for our purpose for our demo it's going to be useful but just imagine you don't have a, a pen capable uh, twin one laptop and it's a regular laptop uh, you know you can either try to get a Cintiq of some kind like the 13 or 15 inch or even the Wacom one which is $400 13 inch uh, with a touch uh, which to me is a pretty bum deal, uh, even though it's a pretty nice uh, pen action on that model. So if you already have, let's say, Galaxy Tab S series, uh, th this is a Tab S6 Lite. So it's not even a high-end model, it's a mid-range, but it's got a really nice pen, obviously, with the, like uh, as with the other S6 uh, models, the S Pen. So let's see if we can leverage that and see how much latency is there using uh, it as a Cintiq uh, with a laptop. Um, I'm going to be using Clip Studio Paint which is very sensitive to things like latency so it should be interesting. Please focus. Um, my camera phone doesn't want to help me. Okay, fine. Eh, okay, so I focus on the keyboard but not on the screen. All right. So let's try it out. So I'm gonna first of all, oops, okay, get the mount better position there. I'm gonna connect the USB C cable here, and as soon as I do that, it's gonna ask me, do I want to activate? As you can see in the corner, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, do you want to use for display? Yes. Okay. And it says it's connected. And so obviously, if the driver is already on the laptop, uh, so you, that's the two parts you need: the driver on the laptop, the app on the the tablet, and it automatically detect if you connect. And you just have to touch the screen, and it should it's nice mirroring what's on the laptop. And because the, the aspect ratio of, of the Tab S6 Lite is different than the laptop, there's a slight bit of a black bar in the bottom and top. But it scales nicely, so no complaints there. All right, so here's the S Pen. Uh, this is 6,000 6, by 4,000 canvas. Now, obviously, I can use a keyboard on the uh, laptop to control it because this is basically the laptop doing all the work. Um, uh, well, the, the tablet is obviously passing on the information. Uh, it's going through the OS, so there's going to be some latency. But uh, it's pretty fast, so um, it's, you're going to be impressed, I think, uh, by how fast it is. So, uh, so you can uh, do all the things on the keyboard that you need to do, which is really nice. And now, if the, oof, maybe I should turn down the, oops. brightness. Uh, nope, nope, don't do that. 
Uh, shoot. There you go. Jeebus. Damn it. Okay. Come on. There you go. Jeebus. Okay. Yeah, I can see a little better now. Okay. So... Still blowing it out, but it's okay. Uh, I got a 50 pixel chalk brush here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Hope you can see that. That's pretty. That's pretty damn fast. Obviously, the uh, the horsepower of the laptop, which is 4700U uh, Ryzen 7, is very powerful. So I don't have to worry about that slowing things down. What I'm worried about is the latency of passing the the video information from the laptop to the tablet here via two OSs, right? So I thought that would be fairly impactful on the latency, but um, I, this is very usable. I can draw with this, no problem. I can go nearly full speed, I think. Uh, let me get rid of this, there you go. And I'm going to attempt to draw through this crazy rig here, but, uh, you know, it's, oh, there's a magnet under the laptop here that's interfering with the EMR in certain areas. I don't know if you noticed that. EMR is an electromagnetic resonance, so it's sensitive to interference from uh, magnets, just be aware of that. But uh, I'm telling you, this is this is smooth and fast. I have no problem with this. Oops, that's interesting that the pressure just gave out on that. Hmm. So I guess in that case, something happened with the connection maybe? I don't know. Well, back to normal I guess. So you just have to be careful not to pull the cable or wiggle it if you're connected to the USB, yeah, there's a dead spot there. Let me get rid of this. Maybe that's the source of the magnet. No, yep, that was the problem. So, I mean, I'm I'm not slowing down much at all, if at all. I mean, I do notice slight difference in. Uh, Maybe this, there might be a slight delay that I could perceive if I pay attention, but um, I don't, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so let's try an experiment. So uh, I'm gonna clear the screen here. I'm gonna go, let's try to remember sort of that level of latency there. I'm gonna then switch to the, the pen for the Lenovo and see. Oops. Hello. There you go. Is that about the same? I think it's slightly slower. I can feel it's slightly slower. But such a small difference. You know? Sure, it's it, it's immediate here, but this is pretty darn close here. Let's see, oops, that's not the end that you draw with.
This is very close. It's very usable. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a problem with latency. I think you can definitely use this. So, uh, I guess the the only thing you have to really look out for is that the app that you're going to use uh, on your PC is compliant with the Microsoft's uh, Pen API, the tablet Microsoft Tablet API. So, in case of um, Clip Studio here, if you go into uh, let's see, file preferences and so here in tablet, I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll bring it closer to you. Hopefully it doesn't disconnect. But focus please. You got two options there. You got you can use your WinTab, which that laptop has WinTab, but I had to switch to tablet PC mode, uh, which means the Microsoft Pen API, right? Uh, long as your app has that option, right? So, which means Photoshop, um, Clip Studio, obviously, um, Sketchbook Pro, Blender, um, ArtRage. There's a bunch of apps. Uh, basically, anything modern that came out in the last like 10 years, or even like 15 years, uh, they should have this option in the preferences somewhere. Um, and if you, if, if you can find that in your app, then you're good. Then you can use uh, Super Display uh, on your laptop, long as your laptop has, you know, USB 3.0. Uh, you can also use Wi-Fi, but that requires a little more doing, I think, and it's going to be a lot more latency, depending on the network, and you can't really do that at a coffee shop. You know, I wouldn't do that with in a public Wi-Fi. I would... Definitely do it at home in a private Wi-Fi, but uh, when you're sharing data like that on the public Wi-Fi, I definitely wouldn't. I mean, we're talking about in the future when you don't have, you know, um, lockdown. But anyways, USB is preferred. So that's two requirements. You have to have, obviously, a tablet with a pen support. S Pen is probably the best. Um, and then you should, and you know, um, I'm not even sure USB 3.0 is a requirement because I don't think Tab S6 Lite here, the the USB C port actually is USB 3.0 compliant. I think it's 2.0. Don't quote me on that, but if it is, then uh, well, it kind of makes sense because you're not really passing the entire, uh, you know screen data off you just doing with the the parts that change this little amount of pixels here so it's not doing the entire 2000 by 1000 pixel here or actually 1920 by 1080 pixel over there um it's just doing selective pixel change right that's just this area that it's changing so obviously if you have a bigger brush if you're if you're swiping a big airbrush across the entire screen it might show some problems. Let's try that out, actually. Um, let's see how big we can make it. Alright, so... Let's see how this S dot does. That's... Yeah, it's still pretty good. It's. I think it's really smart about how it's passing off the... the Pixel data, I mean, you don't have to refresh the entire screen at 60 hertz either. You can do sort of adaptive uh, refresh per area, per what you're uh, trying to accomplish here, which is just update the screen to show what you have done on the canvas, right? So, um, just wanted to show this app off to you um it's got three-day trial it's not cheap uh the the full version after three-day trial is 15 bucks but 15 bucks if you already own uh you know an android tablet with pen like like this 
then 15 bucks to turn it into Cintiq for your laptop or desktop is uh, pretty cheap. Pretty, pretty cheap. It's the it's a bargain, I say. And um, yeah, I can. This is no problem at all. This is it's fast. It's, it's plenty fast. What am I? I'm, okay, I'm not drawing anything here. But I'm just saying. Yeah. So it, it's uh, obviously this is uh, gonna run exactly what's on the screen of the laptop, right? You're not trying to deal with like Android version of the apps or whatever. Um, now the thing about it is I, I don't know if there's an option, like I said in the beginning, to turn Super Display uh, the the tablet into a second display instead of a mirror display. Um, I report back if there's that option in the full version. Um, or maybe you should try it for yourself and see if that's uh, something that is capable of. But even if it's not, if it's just doing a mirror here, it's still very functional, super functional, um, very useful. So, uh, you know, I I highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely something that I would probably uh, utilize in the, in the fact that if I have to go somewhere, I don't want to carry my laptop to do the work. If let's say there's a situation where I have to go to clients, they got a computer there, as uh, long as they can install that driver in there for me, uh, and uh, they, have, they have the app that I like to use, that uses Microsoft Pen API, then I can just take my, um, you know, Android tablet with me, with one cable, and bam, I'm I'm working. That's that's pretty, that's pretty freaking cool, I say. So, yeah, that's 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 plenty fast. There, there's the lag is not much of a hindrance, if at all. Yeah, it's more than usable. Perfectly usable. All right, um, so hopefully you found that useful. Go check it out for yourself. It's super display, no space between the two words at the uh, Play Store and go to superdisplay.app to get the driver for the laptop and you're good to go as long as you are got a USB-C cable lying around. You're good. All right, see you next time.